Welcome, everyone. You're watching Top Deck Productions. It's Wednesday night. We're going to show you some live standard action. It is Wednesday, my dudes. This is the best place for live standard action every Wednesday night. My name is Taylor Gunn. I'm here with the handsome John Douglas, Pro Tour competitor. Yeah. Solver Don't forget of, it. Solver of logistical challenges. Yep. Resetter of passwords. I do that, too. Breaker of metas. We just Breaker broke of metas. an entire meta right before we started. Yeah, we are not going to disclose uh, what the the new meta is after, since it's been broken. Yeah, it but would, trust it would me. Just spoil it for everybody else. Right, trust me. Uh, he's broken the meta. <clears throat> Have you ever broken a board game? Broken a board game? Like, just figured out the best way to play a board game to the point where it's not fun for other people? I find other ways of making board games not fun for other people. <laughs> How about that? Casual griefer, John Douglas. He doesn't just grief in games. He just he griefs on life. Just <laughs> yes. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this hard for for you. Harrison's so. friend has broken Catan. Oh, all right. Um. So, I mean, there's a mathematical model you can use for Catan, but because it's still, like, probability-based, right? you can't really break it. Um, Sam Black, uh, of Magic fame, broke a game called La Harve. Mm -hmm. um, he just figured out the best way to, to beat that game. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Good. Adam Prozac and I were, like, messing around with that game and... So like, yeah, Sam uh, Sam pointed out to me how to break Lahara. I was like, oh, I guess I'm an idiot. I don't think that makes you an idiot. Just makes him that kind of guy that can do that. Yeah. Or that thinks about that. How was, uh, how was everybody's PPTQ? Do we have any, any watchers that enjoyed the PPTQ with us this weekend? It's... One of the final rounds is that is this the last PPTQ season ever? No, I think there's one more. Is there one more? Okay. Um, and they're changing the qualifying structure. They are. There's now going to be PTQs, and are I? They haven't announced. They they alluded to something about like a an RPTQ. No, there's so there's. Uh, invite only and open to the public PTQs. Okay, so the invite only ones are going to be like our PTQs where they're held at stores, right? Uh, they haven't announced that. Okay, that's the way I understood it to be, is that they're going to hold them at, at kind of a larger game store. All right. All right, here we go. This looks like a deck um, you might see on... Magic Arena, I've played against this enchantment a lot. Yeah? Is that a big enchantment in Arena? I guess it's an uncommon, right? Yeah, it's an uncommon. Um, it's also, like, really good when... Under your control. It's uh, it's really good in the, like, white-black vampires pre-con. Okay. So there's, like, two in there normally, and if you get two more, you, you add it in, and then you just enjoy all those... You know, Johnny's Pride Mate triggers, that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, throw it up there. Not everybody knows a Johnny's welcome. A Johnny is not welcome in my magic storyline. No, you're not a Johnny fan? No. He's an, a jerk. I mean, look at those abs. Andy's all, like, cuddly furry. Yeah, I don't... I'm not big into the whole cuddly furry thing. Yeah, you do hate most pets. Yeah. So. I don't really hate most pets. I hate most pet owners. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's a Shalai. Tony gained some more life. He's got to get some offense going here. Or at least better think... defense. Yeah, I don't think he really cares. <laughs> he doesn't care. No, I mean. Tony Mason. Well, I'm just, Doesn't saying, care. I'm just saying about offense right now. So let's see what he does here. I think he... 
So what pump spells could he have here? He could have a burn spell is what Tony's playing around. Yeah. So it makes Shalai not really able to block. So I think this signals he's going to play Lyra and swing this turn. All right. Here's Lyra gaining him another life. And here's an, uh, an attack for four. What is this? Is this going to destroy an attacking creature? Yep. Yeah, there you go. So that's all right. We still got Lyra active. It's an attacking or blocking creature. Yeah, just show us the one half. We don't have to see both halves. Well, I don't think we have that technology. Here's another Shalai. This time from Mike. Yes, we got dueling shalas. Here's both halves. Uh, yeah, so we cast response. Right. Dealing five damage to target attacking creature. Yep. That's a Benelish Marshal. Here's the Marshal. And six. Yeah, I think we should attack here. You don't have... Good attack. So you get to swing in for this Lyra, but then Mike gets to flip his Legion's Landing next turn, basically for free. Yeah. Dude, I want him to start activating that Legion's Landing. I gain two every time he does it. It's when... I think he has to come to play under your control. Oh, are those under our control? I believe so. Well, then it's out of our control whenever Mike were to activate the Legion's Landing. Flipping it. And then I think, yeah, we have to block the vampire. We don't have to, but I think it's a free block. Yep. There's a free block. Takes the six that he earned on the Lyra attack. So it's a push. That's why. Another Adanto. That's why that attack is good. Let's see if he's got anything else here. I think he drew another Lyra. Well, that's fine. I so mean, if nothing else, he can swing in and then play Lyra again. I'm not too high on that. I'm just I'm I'm about letting Mike deal with your Lyra, and then replacing it. Kali Honor Guard is the draw for Mike. Not great here, but it is a good card to have in the deck. That's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely a role player in this deck. A, a metagame shifter. Here's nine. Yeah, so I think you have to block an Adanto Vanguard here. So you get to force him to pay four life. Sure. If he wants to... So he'll go down to nine. You take six. And then you swing for five next turn. Gain five more. You're winning this race. Yep. And any creatures you draw just make it even even better for you. The Honor Guard's going to turn off your enchantments, however. Yeah, those enchantments are turned off. Not going to much matter but those incremental life gains are can be really uh really draw out a game unexpectedly swinging in all right we don't know what tony drew but here comes Ooh, he has a a settle. settle the wreckage is he sandbagging a settle the wreckage <laughs> he doesn't really need it no he's gonna win the race that'll do it Flip so, this Legion's Landing back. So I don't think Mike was dead dead there. Yeah, he was. We had the Shalai to block the Lyra. For a turn. I'll take a turn versus a, you know, I'll take one more draw step before I... I've won a game on a draw step, on a single draw step. I Grit your teeth and come game. back and climb back into the match. So he couldn't attack there with anything. Okay. So he had to pass his turn, and then Tony gets another turn, and he gets to attack with Elyra. You have to block with the Shalai. Yep. Uh, Tony gains another five life. Five life. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, puts them up to like 22. Okay. And you have to like draw blockers to stop Lyra at that point and deal them 22 damage. It wasn't. So, yeah, he wasn't strictly dead, but. Right. You know, whatever. Yeah. So one of these mono white decks won the, well, almost mono white decks won the uh, PPTQ this weekend. Um, I believe it was piloted by uh, our very own commentator. What? Where did, where does Decklist go? What are you even talking about? This weekend, one of these decklists won here. I can't find his his decklist. Whose decklist are you looking for? Uh, Meadows, Robert Meadows. Oh, Robert Meadows didn't win a PPTQ here. Who won the PPTQ here? Apparently, Alex Khan. Oh, was I just reading an erroneous thread then? I don't. I think you misinterpreted. Oh sure. I didn't know if I was experiencing the long con. Did you see what I did there? No, I didn't. Because his last name's Khan. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Apparently, Robert Meadows got top four. So that's something. Oh, okay. Apparently, Robert Meadows was also going to play standard tonight, but then he started rinking. It is ice skating season, after all. It is. I, uh, I'm happy for you that you're rinking. Uh, I know they have a beautiful rink downtown Cincinnati. They do. Um, and sometimes those setup rinks that cities do can be a little small. This one's not a bad size. Not a bad size. You can really get a lap going. Sometimes the, the small ones, you, you have a hard time getting a good flow. Too crowded. I hate that those places become like you can do nothing but the lap. Like there's a flow of people just doing the lap. Like it's a NASCAR track. Yeah. And like you can't do your own thing. Um, I think that's mostly for safety. Like I think if I everybody was doing safety. Their... <laughs> I think... I think if everybody was doing their own thing, there would be a lot more uh, crashes. Yeah. Just like NASCAR. That makes it good. You think crashes makes NASCAR good? <laughs> Watches NASCAR for cars going around in circles for four hours. I've still uh, never had anybody explain to me how one driver is better than another driver. Like, it's all that their machine is better. I mean, not necessarily. There's a human element for sure. Yeah, I mean, you can make a mistake. So is it just the lack of mistakes? No, like everything you do is a calculated risk. Mm -hmm. So like making the right decisions, like it's very much decision-based. I wouldn't call them athletes. Okay, they're not athletes. Yeah, similar to baseball players. Now, baseball player is an athlete. Um, I think you would be impressed to stand next to the average MLB player. Would I? I'm not impressed by much. I'll tell you that no, right now. No, that don't impress me much? That don't impress me much. Um, John Douglas finds his common ground with Shania Twain. Yeah. <laughs> me and Shania, that is our, that's but our song. Difficult to impress. All right. Tony's got a keeper. He's up a game. He's going to ship one to the bottom. I think he has two lands and a lot of expensive cards, though. Here's a Boros Guildgate to lead. Well, we've got at least a one drop. Oh, the Healer Hawk. The Healer Hawk is on the board. Um, this Healer Hawk is a, is a beating. If you, watch the, if you were paying any attention to the Pro Tour, Healer's Hawk, you would think it was the best card in Standard. Healer's Hawk is a house. It's really a nice one. Oh, is that a Diamond Mare? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Diamond Mare naming white? So every time... I, is that... 
NASCAR is a sport. Let's see you drive 500 miles in one thing. Listen, if somebody's going to refill my car with gas, I'd do it. I've done more than 500 miles in one sitting, if we're not counting stopping for gas. Uh, I made it from uh, damn close to here is where we left from. We were down uh, where 42 meets 275 is where we left from. Mm -hmm. Uh, Drove from that point to, um, I think it was outside of Albuquerque. Wow. Before I, like, stopped for any longer than to, like, get food and pee and fill the car. Uh, made it to Vegas in 36 hours. Whoa. You want to talk about driving? Lump lump. No, I did not drive 180 miles per hour. Although if I was in a vehicle that could do 180 miles per hour, I probably would have. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Here's an attack. We've got a, we've got a mentor. I would... Okay. So he's he's willing to trade his diamond mare for Mike's turn. Is what he's saying here. Mike is going to destroy a blocker instead. There we go. I'm not entirely opposed to that line of thinking here when he's behind on land. Yeah. Um, if you can get... Oh, you want to swing there. Yeah, you want to take Swing is important. The hawk. If you can get Mike to take a turn off, uh, you, you'd be, you're very happy to, to have it. Listen, if you didn't swing with the healer hawk, you got to block with the healer hawk at this point. Nope. Not happening. Yeah, it takes the six down to seventeen. Not the end of the world. There's a third land. There we go. Now we're in business. Let's let's do some. We got a Benelish Marshal here. Show me through. No, nothing. Uh, show me an attack with this healer's hawk. I yeah, if I'm we're not gonna block with it, there's no point in not attacking. There's a Legion's Landing. Hmm. And I threw the Healer's Hawk in front here somewhere. And the Diamond Mare in front of the 2-3. There we go. That's That's what I would do. Yeah, so I don't know what he's trying to buy time for. It really depends on what's in his hand. I think he's got... I see Shalai, and I think I see Cleansing Nova. Okay. So, yeah, if he thinks he can get there once he draws the fourth land, then I'm 100% not blocking, but I would also be attacking with the Healer's Hawk, if that were the case. Right. All right, so here's the fourth land. Yeah, we've got, uh, and here is, this guy, doesn't this guy bring a team with him? No, that's. Oh, is that on the attack his team becomes a team? His team becomes a team. His team becomes teaming with team-like things. The Lanham War Leader All right. is Ixalan's Bound. That's good. Yeah, Selena Warleader, uh, yeah, makes brings the team with him while he attacks. He's a big boy too. Four, 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 four. Yeah, that's that's as good a rate as you're going to get in standard. Let's throw a Healer's Hawk in front of this Adanto Vanguard, please. One time, in the Diamond Mare in front of the absolutely. Yep, Diamond Mare. In there, take three, no big deal. Gain one to eleven. Done. All right, so now if we get a land, we get to Lyra, which is a big deal. I think he'd cleansing over first. Probably. 
Spence on how many cards do you think how many does Mike have left? Two? Two cards where he's got a flipped Legion's landing, although he does have the mana to do it in the turn. Oh yeah, here he comes. Alright, so here's the swing. All right. Yeah, you just got to jam it here. Just just clear it up. Clean up that board. Yep. Go, Tony. I believe in you. He's thinking. He's up. Okay, he's chosen to play a creature here. Playing the Lyra. So this is interesting. I can get him into a position where Mike can't really attack, and then he has to commit many, many turns to making more tokens. Right. Which, mm, I don't know where I'm at on that. Let's think. 10, 17, and if he doesn't block, he's going to take 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight. What Mike doesn't want to happen is for Tony to untap and play a Shalai. Uh huh. Which is likely what's going to happen. Is that pretty close to your prediction? Yes. Okay. So Mike is swinging with uh, Takali, Honor Guard. Tony will take the three. He's not too worried about it. Um, the fact that we were willing to swing with that and not like the Adanto Vanguard means we probably don't actually have a trick. But Tony respecting it regardless. Um, now we'll get to swing in with this Lyra with the Shalai on the battlefield. Yep. And that'll prevent... That'll prevent the... Oh no, play the Shalai first. Yeah, so if Shalai's out there, he can't get, he can't, uh, even if it's the only attacking creature, it still has Hexproof. Yes. And so, you can't destroy an attacking creature. It's not destroy an attacking creature, it's deal 5 damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Sure. Alright, more land for Mike, this is... You know, not ideal. You got to remember, one of those lands generated a token. Yeah, one of the lands can create a token, and so he's really uh, only drawn six. He can pump the mentor as well. Um, he's got mana sinks. It's not the end of the world. It's not good. I'm just saying when you look at when you look at seven land down there, one of them's a card. Sure. All right, so here's the big attacks. Thar, she blows. We gonna do some blocking. We're gonna folks? do some mentoring. Okay. 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 So one of the. So we're willing to just throw that in front there, and then the Shalai. Honestly, if he has a spell to kill the Shalai, that's fine. Because you still have Lyra. Um, you don't want to just throw it away here. Uh, so I would definitely block favorably still. Yeah, this is a good block. Right. I don't know which... Um Probably would have blocked that vampire token. Yeah. But it changes the race math a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know which uh Boris Challenger got pumped and which one mentored they looks like they both mentored the vampire. Here's a bugler. A bugle of resolution, we I believe the honor guard oh prevents that from happening. Yep. 
little nonbo there. Little bit of nonboage. All right. Tony Mason looking down. Looks like he's got nine that he can attack with. Yeah, I would just send it all. Yeah, puts him up to 19. I don't know what the card is he just drew, but... Looks like he has an Ixalan's Binding, uh, Cleansing Nova, and some other card. Might attack with just the Lyra here, because it doesn't change the clock. Uh-huh. And um, Mike's going to attack with his Vampire next turn, which is... Going to change the clock. Yeah, getting bigger. And I think one of those... Whatever the Shalai blocked is probably dead, right? No, I thought that was going to be the case, but I think... I don't know. Maybe he blocked the one that was pumped by Mike? Yeah, if he pumped it, it's a 3-4, and Shalai is a 4-5 because of the Lyra trigger, right? Right. Gets plus one, plus one lifelink. Yeah. Oh, well. So if that was the pump spell, he said it's the pump spell that gets bigger when he has a city's blessing. He could have then Ixalan's binding and then just cast that Ixalan's binding on any random card. And then cast the pump spell and won the game, right? Because Ixalan's binding makes ten. You could bind the binding. It makes eleven. Cause you get your guy back. It goes deep. Super deep. And does Tony go to 20 on casting Ixalan's Binding? And with 19 on the attack. Yeah, probably, but probably. if you miss the trigger, that's fine. Yeah, you're allowed to miss the trigger. I just, in my mind, I like to imagine that people rewatch their play. Okay. That's probably not the case. Some people probably do. All right. All right. Send in everybody. Where's the big one? Show me the big one and I'll block that one, please. Yes, this isn't 19 damage. Takes 10. Okay. Just takes it. Mike's back up to seven. Uh, it should be lethal, though. Oh, yeah. Yep. Do it. Man, that life gain. Uh, when you're battling, like on the on the attack step, life link is just such a great mechanic. Yeah, uh, it's great on defense. It's great on offense because they can't race. Um, just very good all around. Lyra is a hell of a magic card. Lyra is a hell of a magic card. She is a, a big, beautiful angel. Big, beautiful, beautiful angel. angel. Heard it here first. Lyra, Dawn Speaker. So I think you guys are going to get to see a large percentage of the field tonight. Not a not a super heavy attendance tonight. Um, we did well last week because I think there's PPTQ is coming up. People want to get their reps in. Yeah. And it's going to be crazy here on Friday for the release of Ultimate Masters. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Is crazy. there crazy? Is there a way that our viewers can enjoy the Ultimate Masters with us? Yeah. Come to GameSwap Mason. All right, so you can come to GameSwap Mason. They're doing a promo where you get entered into a raffle to buy when you buy a pack or enter a draft, right? I don't know. All right, he's going to pull that up for the exact details. Oh, I'm not pulling it up. All right, fantastic. He's going to look at his phone for a completely different reason. Yeah. We did are. Did you see what Kanye West did? Oh my God. What? It, he was on his phone at a Broadway play. Was he? 
Yeah, and somebody like called him know. out from the stage. I was just making some asinine comment. Well, I was making, but apparently you, look, you making you look like a real ass. Apparently, really happened. Um. Yeah, so come to GameSwap Mason. Visit them on Facebook for the exact details. I don't want to misspeak. Uh, the drafts are going to be $40 a piece. Winner of each draft wins the box hopper from that box, which is incredible. It's a great value. And winners of the standard and modern FMs will also receive box toppers. Yep. The excess box toppers are going to be raffled throughout the night. To get a raffle ticket, all you have to do is purchase a booster pack of a Ultimate Masters. Pack. If you want to win a box topper on the stream, we are doing a giveaway. So it's 25 points per raffle ticket. No maximum number of tickets per person. And the winner will be chosen and giveaway will happen end on the 11th of December at 10 p.m. Eastern. That's next Tuesday for those of you keeping track. During our Tuesday night modern stream. How do I earn these points? Well, you cheer your bits off. So you can get one point for every time you cheer a bit. I don't know what that means. You, you got to cheer your bits off. Does it mean anything? Yeah. Okay. You can get five points for every ten minutes you watch the stream and ten points if for that if you are a subscriber. Fifty points for following and five hundred points for subscribing, which can include your free Twitch Prime subscription. So if you have a Amazon Prime account... Mm -hmm. You get one free Twitch subscription, and you can use that free one to earn 500 of our points. 500? So, this could be 20 raffle tickets into a possible Ultimate Masters box topper. And then we're going to leave it sealed. It's going to be the sealed pack uh, box topper. So, you won't know what it is. We won't know what it is. It could be a Tarmogoyf. It could be a... Well, you can see it. Oh, can you see it through the seal? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that at all. I want it to be... Well. Sorry you don't like it, but we don't know what it is. Yeah, we don't know what it is yet. And you don't know what it is yet. Um. But we're going to be giving one away, so... Yeah, so cheer your bits off. Cheer your bits off. Uh, subscribe. Mash that like button. Mash it. Just mash it. Just mash it. We've got one match remaining in the tournament. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna step back for a minute. We're gonna go scout the field, and figure out what we're gonna do next. Is our bounty in the room? No. 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 All right. No bounty tonight. Correct. But that means whoever goes undefeated is going to get some. Becomes uh, the new. Get the some new hunted. Credit. Perfect. All right. So uh, we'll be back here probably in about 10 minutes. There's only one match left going on. I can't imagine. It's going to go on terribly long. And uh, we'll be back here soon. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in a minute.